The official release dates for the RTX 4090, 4080, and 4070 were all just leaked. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap. If you're looking for a better alternative to eBay with lower fees and better protection, make sure to check out RGB Swap linked in the description below. That's right, a ton of information about the RTX 40 series was just leaked by the website videocards.com, and let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and take a look at what they had to say about it. Quote, we have some new information on GeForce RTX 40 launch dates. As much as we would like to tell you that these are 100% confirmed dates, and they are for now, things might change very quickly. They then go on to say, quote, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is now expected to debut in August. The current launch schedule lists RTX 4080 with a September launch date, and the RTX 4070 should launch in October. However, our sources expect some dates to change because AIBs still have lots of RTX 30 inventory left, and the last thing they want is for NVIDIA to announce a new generation. While one should expect all three SKUs to debut on the same day, their launch will spread to the following weeks. So there you have it, guys. It looks like the RTX 40 series is still going to be launching very, very soon. However, if we do go ahead and we take a look at the chart that I put out just earlier this week, uh, although I did state that the RTX 4090 would likely be debuting in August, it looks like I was off by just a month when it comes to the 4080 and the 4070, as it looks like they're actually going to be pushed back, at least according to video cards, which I do consider to be a very credible source, uh, all the way into September and October. And honestly, guys, now that I think about it, I do believe that actually makes even more sense is yeah, like they mentioned, AIBs are going to be really struggling to sell their RTX 30 cards when something like the RTX 4070 does end up releasing because the RTX 4070 is going to be basically replacing something like the 3080 and it's just going to make it look absolutely ridiculous. So I do think that the 4070 specifically does need to get pushed back just like video cards was mentioning all the way back into October so that these AIBs do have a little bit more time to breathe and go ahead and sell those 3080s. Now they're going to have to continue to drop the price on the 3080s. So if you're looking for a 3080, I do think over time, probably like right before the RTX 4090 launch, it's going to be probably at an all-time low price, and at that point, it actually might be a pretty decent buy, but at least right now, an RTX 3080 is still too expensive, and if they want to clear out their inventory, again, they're, they're definitely going to have to go ahead and drop those prices. But speaking of prices, let's real quick talk about the RTX 40 series pricing before we get into the final leak about the 40 series that was revealed by video cards, because I think there's going to be a lot of people who are looking forward to the RTX 40 series and are a little bit worried about the pricing and are starting to consider, you know, when should I be selling my GPU and how much do I need to save up for the 40 series? So let's go ahead and quickly touch on that. So taking a look at my chart here, when it comes to the pricing, the RTX 4090, I am expecting a price between $1.8 and $2,000. So that one's going to be very, very expensive. And only the most crazy of crazy people who are trying to run stuff like 4K 240 hertz are going to be looking into purchasing this card or maybe 4K with ray tracing, stuff like that. However, if you're someone who's running like 3440 by 1440 or 1440p 240 hertz, stuff like that, I do think cards like the 4080 and 4070 are going to handle that with no troubles whatsoever and these ones are going to be a lot more reasonably priced and in fact taking a look at the RTX 4080 I am expecting a price of around $899 for this one and for the 4070 $679 so there's definitely going to be a price increase for these cards uh, now we don't know necessarily 100% for sure what the final price is going to be until the last day but these are my estimations as of now and I do believe they're going to be fairly close to this uh, but it is going to depend on what AMD is planning as well so that being said, yes, with the price increase coming, you're going to have to save up a little bit more. And I do think that there are going to be some people who are going to be worried and are going to be considering selling their cards now. And honestly, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say selling your card now and waiting might not be a good idea. If you have a really good backup card, it could be a good idea for you as you might end up getting the best resale value right now as opposed to when these cards are launching. However, there's actually a pretty decent chance that your card's going to be worth roughly the same even after these cards are announced. Because if you wait a couple of weeks until after these cards are announced or until after they release when people are going to have a hard time getting them because yes every single launch whether it's GPUs or CPUs there's going to be at least a two week period this happens every single time where it's going to be difficult to get a new product this is not something new this happened every single generation so expect a bare minimum a bare minimum of two weeks where it's going to be very difficult to get the new cards at that point in time you might actually get the same amount of money as if you were to sell your card now so honestly I would say uh, don't sell your card now because there's a good chance that even if you can get a better resale value right now, which could be the case, you could end up being without a card for a pretty long time, considering that these cards aren't even going to be available for a couple months, and then it's going to be, again, at least a couple of weeks for you to even get your hands on them, and again, they're going to be more expensive as well. So there you go. If you do want to know more about the availability of the RTX 40 series, uh, just real quick, I'll say that it's definitely going to be better than the RTX 30 series. Uh, that was an absolute nightmare, so it's not going to be that bad, but if you want to know more in-depth details, make sure you're subscribed, because next week I am going to be putting out a video talking
talking about the availability and the pricing more in depth on the RTX 40 series in the entire lineup. So make sure you're subscribed for that. But now let's go ahead and talk about the second leak that came out from videocards.com where they did actually talk about the actual board that's going to be on the 4080 and the 4090. Now, according to video cards, here's what they had to say. Quote, we have learned that the RTX 4090 and 4080 may have more in common than previously expected. Although both SKUs are using different GPUs, 8102 and 8103, they could be using the same board, PG139. And honestly, guys, I find this actually really interesting and I do think it makes a lot of sense. So if these two GPUs are going to be on the same board, it means that the cooling solution is also likely going to be very, very similar. And if we take a look at that leaked image from a little while ago, which a lot of people were calling the RTX 4090 cooler, and I actually said I believe this is the 4080 cooler because as you can see, it only has enough thermal pads to actually cover 16 gigabytes of memory, not 24, which you're going to be seeing on the 4090. So this is probably going to be a 4080 cooler that we're looking at right now. Um, Honestly, that means that the RTX 4080 is going to get an absolutely monstrous cooler. And again, it lines up with what I was saying about that cooler earlier. So if you're looking at getting an RTX 480 Founders Edition, yeah, that thing is going to have possibly a better cooler than the RTX 3090. And I felt like the RTX 3090 is the best air cooler that was ever created bar none. So the RTX 4080 is definitely going to be a cool and quiet card, even though it's going to be sucking down probably 350 watts. It's still going to be an absolute monster and it's going to be definitely cool and quiet to boot. So I think the 4080 is going to be an absolutely fantastic purchase, especially if it doesn't end up getting the same cooler as the RTX 4090. And I'll definitely be happy to see if that's the case. And according to this video cards leak with them using the same board, that's probably going to be pretty likely. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think the release date for the 4090, 4080 and 47 years is really going to be? Let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.